that door down there. We don't test the arc power now. So we may never have another chance. Zulu okay, why don't we go into here? All right. So this is the the machine that they were trying to restore, right? That's kind of looked like the the little model in the room with Anderson we saw before. Is there any kind of intel? Yep, that's what we're doing. Uh, okay, well maybe this we need to go into the past to look at it. There we go. Okay. Right. Hey, this is log 342. The full weapons power source is called the Ark. Yeah, we heard that earlier. Okay. Doesn't look like they perfected the casing. This one's empty. The Ark must be somewhere oh, else. Oh, this is just the casing. Okay. Out. I so okay. Ark prepped for delivery and en route to the test chamber. I didn't realize that this was the shell for the uh, for the actual machinery. Right. I think these little uh, dilapidated drones are probably going to be easier to take care of than the the full complement of guards from the past. So. Um, what do we have here? Still kind of like our current gun the best, the Spitfire. Okay, let's get through. Oh boy! I wonder if they have it set up so that... If you kill a certain bot in the past, it will actually die. It looks like we have no choice. We're about to run out of bullets. And a grenade launcher. It's not really what I want, though. But anyway, I, I wonder if, if you kill a certain bot in the past, if it will die here in uh, real life. Alright, we need to switch out. Oh, there we go. Oh, we got our, we got our reload. Alright. Crisis averted. Now, in the continue moving through the complex, okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell what it wants us to stop and search a computer or a terminal or something when it wants us to keep moving. Oh, let's listen to this. Dr. Jefferson Boyle, log one. Looks like they went forward with the ARC test, despite my warnings to postpone, but what Martyr wants, Martyr gets. I don't know how I survived, but I did. For now. I've tried all the exits, but I'm trapped. Damn place is locked down good. All I have is hope. That's what I get for picking a lab underground. Hope is capitalized. Is I that say? a person? I like archaeology. Or a BT. Okay. Spin up the outer ring. Test sequence will commence once the arc is in. Uh, looks like there could be secrets back here. Maybe. Okay. I thought there could be some collectibles of some kind back here. Moving. Go in here. Oh, there's one. How do we get over there? Okay. Oh. Okay. Try that again. Okay. All right. Take three. There we go. That's what we wanted. All right. So where exactly do we need to? Okay. 
good with me. Made it to the other side. Technically. Take care of this. Oh. Okay. I prefer to be over here, I think. And we're probably gonna want to take this. Yep. And switch. Okay. Didn't light ourselves on fire. Alright. We'll take a look. Uh oh, I see. It moves from left to right. Let's just confirm my suspicion. Yeah, run there. And then run there, the past, and so on. Yeah, okay, I got it. Oh no, not quite. Oh boy, all right. Take two. Oh, I saw a helmet there. All right, take three. miss out on that helmet, unfortunately, but what are you going to do? Amount of residual energy. This was the Ark's final destination. The Anderson's plan indicated a recon mission within close proximity Whoa, what killed us? That, was there fire there and I just didn't see? Successfully delivered to old rings. Commencing test run. Over here. Pilot, the rings there we go. of my location oh. contain a large amount of residual energy. This was the Ark's final destination. Anderson's okay. plan indicated a recon mission within close proximity to the center of the active rings. And give me my orders, BT. You want me to do what? If we can obtain the Ark's energy signature, the militia fleet will be able to track its current location in the present day. Makes sense. All right. I think we can do that. Let's take a look over there. Oh. All right, so we got to get past the laser wall. First things first. That's a good start. Mission impossible, this. All right. Not too bad. Bad at all. If we go down here. Bit of fire. Looks like it. Alright, just give the room a quick scan. Not missing anything. Alright, in we go. Oh no! Okay. I did not expect that. Alright. So, hang on. So we're gonna have to switch to the present, to the past, to get past the fan. And then, again, to get away from the fire. So, okay. This should be fun. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Oh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, let's try it again. Uh, let's look straight down if we can. Switch. Switch. Alright, I gotta switch for that second fan a little bit earlier. Alright, there is definitely some lag when it comes to um, time occurring, so... Here we go. All right. That was really cool. They were targeting this planet's moon as a test. 
This damn thing was just a test. One of our own planets is next. They're going to hit Harmony. And they moved up the timeline. I have to get this intel to Sarah. Just like the, uh, the Death Star tested on Alderaan, huh? Right there, pilot. Uh oh. Nice. Go, Anderson. All right, you wrecked him. Whoa. That was Major Anderson's final recording. Oh, no. Cooper, based on your recon of this facility, I may have a plan. Meet me outside. Hmm. All right, well, let's go ahead and check the body. See if we can do it without falling to our deaths. Is there anything helpful here? All right. Turn to BT. Keep moving. Hypergravity wave stream. Space fold traversal. Audio log we can play. I would like to spend some time today to talk about the value of human life. Oh, let's listen. There is no value to human life. Oh. Well, great. Now that I have your attention, to be more precise, yeah, what a hook. human life to a certain limit is expendable. We are self-perpetuating yet self-destructive, adaptable yet flawed, and always, always resource-intensive. We are endless consumers of resources. And so your solution is what? But most Kill relevant everyone? to our research here is one undeniable fact, that human life is abundant. Overpopulation of any colonized world is a given. Through the lens of cold objectivity, it is irresponsible to say that all individuals on such worlds are actually indispensable. Millions of humans die across the colonized world every day by any number of causes. Human life is expendable. Now our problem is twofold. On the one hand, we are faced with a hostile frontier populace opposed to our commercial pursuits for the greater good. And on the other hand, there is a never-ending cry for natural resources demanded of us by the greater populations of the core systems. We must have order on the frontier if we are to achieve true progress. But the militia, in its provincial myopic lack of vision, myopic short sighted to accept this. Thus, we are at war. Now the bitter truth. Okay. Reinforcements from the core systems will not arrive for several more years. The militia gains strength day by day, taking back one planet after another. Our choices are limited. Drastic action must be taken. Again, I remind you all of one simple truth. That human life is abundant. And, as distasteful as it may sound, human life is, in truth, expendable. And so that brings us to this planet Typhon. Yeah, what's your where point? we have discovered a gift. A machine that will do more than change the tide. Call it fate. Call it evolution. Call it what you will. The truth is we have discovered our resolution. And in it lies a weapon with a powerful ability to fold space and time. So they can get those reinforcements we quicker? We don't know who built it. But we do know that it is quite old. And most importantly, we have learned enough to bring it to life. As we use this fold weapon, we will manipulate space-time targeting anything we desire, sundering entire planets. Our restoration sundering efforts meaning to the mountain destroying? are nearly complete, but one task remains. We must complete a small-scale test here first, to tune the power source, or the arc, as our colleagues tend to call it. Once we have accomplished this, we will transfer the power source, the Ark, to the full-scale site and destroy one populated militia planet and then another until they capitulate. We will open an Einstein-Rosen bridge sending through thousands of concentrated gravitational waves. Ah, I see. This will rip apart okay. 
and sunder every molecule. I thought it was. And every living thing I thought it was mainly for transport, but it's total loss of life. destruction. But lest we lose sight of the bigger picture, remember those losses are ultimately replaceable by the inexorable march of human reproduction. Wow. By decisively neutralizing the militia forces, uh -huh. we will in fact safeguard the existence of the human race, extending its reach and power towards a prosperous and bright future. Wow, what an audio log. Okay. That's a lot to take in there, so now we've got a much more complete picture. So in essence, it's sort of a combination of Thanos and his desire to preserve resources for the, you know, the population of the universe by, by killing half the universe. And also, the Empire's plan in Star Wars to, you know, destroy planets to maintain fear and fear will, will keep control of the systems. It seems to, that, that essentially seems to be his plan. Use this weapon to destroy planets, to keep things in balance, thereby preserving resources in these um, fringe worlds, I guess. Well, I understand it. Can't say I agree with it, but I understand it uh, a little bit better what they were going for here now. So, because we didn't get to face General Martyr, I guess that sort of sufficed for our supervillain uh, monologue. All right, I let's go. I recommend you meet me at the rings in order to scan the Ark's energy signature. I recommend... Watch out, buddy. Coming through. All right, let's make sure we're good to go. All right, I think we can just get through these guys, no problem. I've located the controls. Yep, let me on the bridge to the rings. I have marked it on your hut. There we go. Hut's control initiated. It appears that whatever actions you took in the past have caused the remaining automated security systems to be quite hostile towards us in the present. Extend the bridge. Alright, do I need to, uh, can we get into there from here? Possible? Uh-oh. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, hello. Alright. Oh, they're still here. Alright. the bridge controls on your HUD. You will need to extend the bridge before the full weapon test van explodes. Sounds like a job for us. I think we can handle that. Oh, here we go. The hell was the safety protocol. Initiate the test yeah, immediately. using a Open knife to up. hack. Do not allow the intruder to reach the arc under any That's how real men stops. hack. Okay. Transferring controls to pilot. Let's boogie. And get out of here. And get back over here. Scan the arc. Oh, man. Did we do it? BT. We saved the day? Oh. So you might be wondering how we ended up here. Well, it's a funny story. Classic. Uh. There are buddies, right? We've got to. We still have to. We've got to scan, right? Oh, wow. This is. This is wild. I've never seen anything like this. 
Uh, yep, we got a scan. Gotta keep moving up. Wow, this is really cool. So, I'm guessing there's just so much energy that's released that, um, it totally screwed up time by, by kind of just freezing it. But why are we immune? Oh, because of our wrist device, I guess, right? Alright, here we go. So, gotta jump up here, I guess? Alright, let's do it. Oh, I love the music. That was the arc itself, I guess. Whatever, whatever that energy. Well done, pilot. Was scan complete. As Anderson discovered, the IMC intend to destroy the militia planet of Harmony using the full-scale version of this weapon. Pilot Cooper, our journey is far from over. We must get this data to the fleet. All right, we can do that. Found Anderson KIA, we're now responsible for finishing his mission. The IMC recently conducted a weapons test against a moon of Typhon, shattering it. It's called a fold weapon. The one we saw was just a small prototype. We're going to use a large-scale version to target militia-controlled planets, forcing us to surrender the frontier. The planet Harmony is first on that list. We have to get this intel to militia command. BT says an IMC interstellar beacon could do the trick. Right, let's go. Pilot Cooper, Anderson is dead, but we can complete his mission if we can re-establish contact with the fleet. The interstellar beacon ahead will serve our needs. Let's hope so. Let's hope someone on our side is listening out there. There is only one way to find out. We must uphold the mission. Pilot, I see the beacon up ahead. Yeah, I see it too. Scans detect minimal power functionality. It may need repairs. Caution. I'm picking up multiple contacts. What if we just had a game with BT Hostiles and I just road tripping across the desert? How fun would that be? Dockers. Okay. Are you waiting on Caution. me? I detect traces of poisonous chemicals within the fog. Okay. Uh, which is what exactly? What is this fog? Scanning. The ground fog is a toxic byproduct of the beacon power grid. I recommend you embark when operating in hazardous environments with greater than one ppm tungsten hexafluoride. Oh please, embark I can handle at least five ppm. Ppms don't scare me. Parts per mole? Is that what it's called? Oh, oh, we get to pick it up by embarking. Okay, got it. Alright, fine. I guess I'll hop on. Pilot mode engaged. Alright, let's pick up our new toy here. Pilot, I'm detecting militia forces inside that beacon control room. Ooh. They are signaling distress. Ronin. Patching in. Hang on one second, BT. Oops, I wanted to see what this does. Okay, sword block, uh, shotgun, sword core, arc wave. Okay, well let's hey, let's try it out. There. Pilot, are you reading us? We can use some help over here. This is Captain Cole for the third militia grenadiers. We're getting overrun by stalkers. Please assist. I recommend we help eliminate these stalkers and then make direct contact with the militia riflemen. Looks promising. Alright, so we've got a shotgun weapon, so we probably gotta get kinda close, I'm guessing. Interesting tactic, pilot. The 40 ton mass of my chassis can eliminate stalkers more efficiently. Oh, that's on our side. Okay. What else do we have? Oh, holy cow, what was that? That. All right. 
Where exactly? Okay, there we go. Is that the last one? Threat neutralized. Well yeah. done. This victory has raised our combat efficiency rating. What's up, guys? BT-7274 to militia forces. All threats have been eliminated. You saved our asses. Those stalkers just kept on coming. We may not have lasted much longer. No problem. We're opening the blast doors. Come on in. Alright, don't mind if I do. Captain, recording. Captain, what is the status of the beacon? The power is shut down. We've lost all control of the beacon. We need something like this to jumpstart the system, but this one's destroyed. Designation. That's cool. Arc tool. Function. Generates power up to five megajoules. Yeah, yeah, we know what it is. Can you repair it? Nah, we already tried. Sensors indicate another one at the substation, but it's nearly impossible to get down there. This place just ain't built for humans. Understood. Pilot Cooper, yes, I advise caution while navigating this facility substation. You must recover the arc tool. All right. Good luck, sir. I can handle that. Make it back. We've lost too many down there. I thought with Demeter shut All right, down, what's the, the mastiff? They have plenty of mindless shotgun with widespread. Oh, that's a good thing. It's all right, but I would rather take the uh, the larger mag. So. The pilot's got to know some interesting tactics. We made it this far. Go. Good luck, pilot. We kill because we have to. Thanks, boss. All right. So we're going to be rolling solo with this uh, particular mission again. Got our good buddy BT. Marvin Delta Seven Three Zulu, please report to Sector Bravo Seven. Pilot, Gunman. more stalkers are expected. We'll hold them off, but don't be gone too long. I don't worry. I wish I could tell you what's down there. But whatever it is, we're hoping you can handle it, pilot. Lots of mastiffs. I wonder how deep this facility goes. It looks like they could turtle up to protect their heads. That's why they're so hard to kill. Careful, people. Oh. These stalkers can come out of the walls. Stay alert. We're getting low on half And soldiers. The last pilot in our unit went that way a few hours ago, but he never came back. It's like, be careful. All right. On it. Pilot. I have patched into your helmet display to monitor your progress. The channel is open if you need assistance. Uh, what's up with the walls? I don't understand. What about BT, the walls? What's up with these walls? Scanning. Exposed power circuits. Oh, you should these. avoid physical contact. Okay. Proceed forward with caution. Got it. And, uh, sure, let's get a mission BT, reminder. Remind me what I'm doing here. Your mission is to obtain an arc tool. Using it, we can jumpstart the power systems and get the beacon back online. Scans detected signature further within this facility substation. Okay. Locate an arc tool. Not down. Not the way. Scanning path. What? Oh, do we need to go on this side? Oh, I see. It's like a U bend. Okay. I'm tracking. Right. No issues. All right. Softball. Oh, adhesive. Adhesive grenade launcher. I don't know about that. I think that's very helpful against drones. Yeah, of course. Oh. Alright. Well, we've got to get this, if at all possible. Oh, what kind of grenades? Oh, we've got these satchel grenades. It's not exactly ideal for what we uh, need to do. 
So if we have the opportunity to switch out our grenades, I'm gonna take that at the uh, earliest possibility. So. Stola. Gotta pick up a new weapon pronto. Thought I saw one over here in the corner. Let's, uh, or here. Oh, there we go. Light machine gun. That works for me. I don't think we need to kill everyone. Alright, what are we doing here? So, yeah, what is this facility? What is this place? The station's computer details this location as the power grid for an IMC interstellar beacon. Uh, sure. It's a maze down here. How deep does this thing go? Scans reveal a maximum depth of 300 meters. Some say it goes all the way to the top. I say it goes all the way to the bottom. Oh boy, we're gonna be jumping in this, right? Disable the turbine. Okay. This reminds me of a uh, of Mass Effect. I was gonna say there's no way that we're not jumping in this, right? Just wanted to check to see if there's anything before we uh, we go in. All right. So once we get pushed up, I'm gonna go over here. Okay. Uh, now, so from here, we can just jump across, I think is the idea. There we go. Very nice. Bypass is successful. The fan okay. exhaust is offline. Fan of that. Do not be afraid. Your jump kit can take that fall. Reassuring. Going down. Uh. Really? Alrighty. If you say so. Foreign object detected. Okay. You were right. Arc tool required. So it's over here, right? Oh, there we go. From the what? The Marvin? Is that what it said? Yeah. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Oh, wow. Alright, here we go. Don't mind me. It's coming to, to take this from you. Sorry, 
buddy. You have acquired the arc tool. Return to the control. Yeah, they'll get over it. You're ready to jump start the system. All right. See you, Marvin. Pilot, there appears to be an override switch on the central turbine. Down here? Yes, sir. Using the arc tool on that switch, that should enable you to run across the face of the turbine. It's giving us a lot of hints. Uh, oh, on the turbine itself. I see. Oh. All right, that worked. And then we can use it on this bad boy over here. Oh, okay. Yep, so this is going to blow us up. Or open the door. That's going to blow us up. Okay. That's fine. All right, we're back where we started. So... Under the control. Oh, we're gonna have to do that again, I think. Okay. Here we go. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. We've got our force lightning. Projector. That's helpful. Ride him. And we fried him. Alright. Another switch. Oh, I see. Okay. I get what's going on here. Alright. Now. Just going through, yeah? Okay. behind these platforms. Okay. So if we fall down here, we're just going to get pushed back to the start. Heat sink temperature at 50%. And we get... It does eventually disable them, but... Alright, here we go. Oh, nice. 
Oh, look at us go. Like Sonic. That's me. I can't hit this, can I? Go ahead. I have to hit that. Yep, okay. That's what I thought. Here we go. That was impressive, pilot. Thanks. They're waiting for you back in the control room. Welcome back, sir. This moves or something else. There's no giving up today, guys. That pilot went down there and got us an arc tool. He's still in business. Yes, I did. Good All right. See you back here safe, the pilot. That arc tool is just Man, I'm just Mr. Popular. Makes me feel good. To be quite honest, I I don't exactly recall why we got this uh, tool. Back and that looks like an arc tool to me. I think we just got to take it off this dirt. But good work, Pilot Cooper. Now we can jump start the, the science power to people, get the beacon uh, functional. Worry about that. Secure, okay. Glad you made it back, Cooper. Just in time too. The system's rewired. Now all we need is some power. Pilot, the power chamber relays are offline. The arc tool should be able to jump start them manually. Cooper. Let's hope that arc tool was worth all the trouble. Yeah, no kidding. All right. Now I see at the bottom left of my screen it says Caution. unbound. High radiation levels detected ahead. Your suit will only protect you for a limited time inside the chamber. I suggest you move quickly. I wouldn't stay in there too long unless you want to be burnt to a crisp. Get that arc tool ready. When I open the hatch, every second will count. <laughs> 